prosciutto wrap stuffed chicken with figs and cheese. All I did was I took chicken breasts. You cut across, but not all the way through and open them like a book. You barely have to touch them with the meat mallet. That's what I did. I seasoned them with a tiny bit of salt and pepper and I put them, look at this, on a bed of prosciutto de Parma, okay? My sister doesn't like pork, so I left one plain. We'll deal with hers in a bit. I pre-measured all of my ingredients so that once my hands touch the chicken, I don't have to contaminate anything in the kitchen. That's very important. Remember, if you can't get great fresh figs, then just use some fig paste, fig jam, fig jelly. It's all fine. You just want a little figgy flavor in there. Beautiful, excellent. Then we top that with either gorgonzola or boursin. So I'm gonna do three with gorgonzola and three with boursin. Soft cheese from the grocery store with garlic and herbs. So we'll put boursin in the others. A little rosemary. And then all we do is wrap and roll as tightly as possible. For Maria, we're going to take some garlic or butter and just coat that sucker. Instead of prosciutto, she's got a beautiful layer of fat and flavor for herself as well. Okay, seam side down to brown and then transfer to a 350, 360 oven to let them finish cooking through after they're browned on both sides. So brown them, turn them, brown the meat on the top, then transfer them to the oven. Remember, we turned the oven down when we added the chicken to finish cooking through to 375. Ooh, wow, that's heavy. Okay. Let's rest it here for a second. So I give them a turn when I take them out and it's almost like a glaze. Look at that. Oh, glorious. Oh, fresh figs, which is why I put some on the edge of the board. Fresh figs, rosemary, and your cheese of choice. Here's Maria's bathed in the sauce on the end here. And let me just get the sauce boat, the little gravy boat, for the au jus. All of those drippings and juices from the figs with the rosemary into the gravy boat.